Hello and welcome back, this is Incitaris and I'm continuing playing Greedfall. Yes, this is my group now, Shira and Afra. And yeah, I spent some money on Afra because we needed better stuff for her. So, well, this is something I bought, a better beret. Uh, shield medal that I found, I gave her, and this is also something I had on my stash, so I also gave that to her. Again, I think I had these already. These I bought, but the mo main pièce de résistance, or something like that, is the Prince Flint Flintlock rifle. This actually cost me something around uh, 6700 plus upgrade. Uh, 629 damage, 90 armor damage now that I that it's upgraded. Can I actually... Yes. Very nice looking gun. So hopefully money well spent. And yeah, we are in different area now. As I said, we are going to check the... Oh, these are going to same... Well, I don't know if they're going the same way, but the idea was going to assess the situation of the calls and glade and uh, uh, this is the part where it sends me probably somewhere there well or maybe here who knows who knows we find that now ah oh, the tall tree it's over here okay and then this is I don't know why I have this already on map, but anyways, I digress. Let's go there. And no one has a quest uh, exclamation mark. So oh, I'll take it back. We have an exclamation mark. So, Desade, I'd like to discuss something with you. I'm listening. My colleagues are only interested in the physiology of the islanders and consider everything else to be superstitions. However, if we want to understand how they are transforming, we need to take a look at their culture. The potions they drink, the dyes they use are surely the source of their physical changes. Why not talk about it with Siora? It seems to me that she would be the best one to help you. Siora is very suspicious of me. She will never betray the secrets of the Donegada. But I was told about a place of ritual called Kurganau, decorated with carvings and offerings. By studying them, I hope to better understand what is possibly the greatest mystery of this century. But they call it a dangerous place and I cannot go alone. Will you accompany me? Uh, I would like to know where it would lead. I guess we do this next, but not now. Sorry. I'm already very busy at the moment. I understand. But think about it all the same. Anything else? Mm. I must leave you. Did I get more information? Island and knowledge. Ah. Uh, uh. Annoying thing, I would like to know where it is. Uh, well, there really is nothing we can do at the moment. Meant with that as... So... I'll probably tackle on that quest after we see this area. So... Okay, this doesn't seem that huge area. So, let's start mapping yeah this might be quite small area fortunately so it might be we start to tackle Afra's quest quite soonish 
uh, depends how actually the <laughs> quest around here goes. Um. Oh, uh, let's try the bomb. Could have been a little bit better, but I'll take that. Oh, no, no, no. I can't see anything. Okay, that's one tough bridge. Okay, I need to take the smaller ones first. Oh! No, 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 no. Ah, I hate these enemies. <laughs> it's... Uh... They knock you down so fast. And the bomb didn't really... I, I probably should have tried to aim it towards the big one. Yeah. How much do I have ammo left? I... Where can I see it fast? Ah! I hate... I hate when I press the wrong button. Where's the ammo? It's here. <laughs> well, I think I have enough for now, sorry. Anyways... Um... Yeah, they are not that hard, but they're annoying enemies. Enemies that uh, stumbles you or stuns you all the time are most annoying enemies usually in games. Not always, but usually. What? Where's that? Oh, the camp. Now we can find out how many camps there are in this region. The what now? Four camps. Four camps in this area. Seriously. Okay. Okay. What am I missing? Can we talk to these natives or are they enemies? At least nothing for now. Yeah, I do tend to keep sure of it, me, but <laughs> one thing is we are basically going native lands, and um, I feel like uh, she's a proper character to have with me. Although I would rather have. Well, not rather, but um, uh, Kurt is also quite decent because he's uh, well he can do quite a lot of damage I'm not we have uh, my friends have actually handled quite well the battle against those creatures um, the, p the rifle is nice gun very nice stats but obviously it's slow okay there's Seriously? Okay. Okay. We definitely, most likely, will come back later somewhere around here, or maybe not. Anywho, let's move on. Yeah, I'm going the right way. And, um, dead end so far. Interesting. So, back it is. Hmm. 
Hmm. But to be honest, if if there are actually are four camps in this map, in this tiny map, then yeah, that's quite surprising. Because that would mean okay. Again, I'm not complaining, but a little bit surprising. Or maybe I checked it wrong. Anyways, let's move on. Hmm. Okay, anything... There's definitely something. And I want to go check what it is. If I can... Hopefully I can, I should be. Well, it looks like a camp. And it seems like a camp, hence it's a camp. I'm a lumberjack and I got trees. Alking expedition. Okay. <sighs> oh. want to shed blood. We want to give life back to the earth. Okay, what's happening here? What's happening here, soldier? <laughs> These islanders want to enter a plot of land that belongs to the congregation. They are denying us access to the glade. We must heal it. Otherwise, this land will die. I am sorry, but we cannot let you enter this area. But we only want to plant some new trees. Bring life back. These people are fanatics, Your Excellency. Several woodcutters died last night. And I'm willing to bet that these savages had a hand in it. You are killing the Earth. So it kills you in return. All of you are cursed. Shut it, you savage! The Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation on this island. I came to shed light on this affair. You said that some woodcutters died. Aye, they fell sick and died a few hours later. Well, the camp doctor will be able to tell you more about it. You'll find him in the barracks right here. Thank you, soldier. I'll go see him. Mm. Please, Your Excellency, you may come in. Well, obviously I can come in. And do not force us to use our weapons. Do shut up. We do not want to shed shut blood. up already. Ah, stop yelling. But the point is, uh, yeah, right. yeah. Good thing for you gods, but uh, the new governor is my cousin and I'm his legate and I can enforce rules in here and let the natives come. Oh, but anyways, let's see the doctor. Hello doctor. I am the legate of the congregation. I was told about the disputes caused by this camp and a soldier told me that several woodcutters died recently. Yes. They got sick yesterday afternoon, and a few hours later they were dead. I couldn't do anything except watch them writhing in pain. None of my remedies worked. If seeing corpses doesn't bother you, you can come and see the bodies. They're here. I hope that whatever killed them is not contagious. Well, if it is, well, we are screwed anyways. Anyways, <laughs> let's check the bodies. These poor woodcutters look like they've suffered. This one has a swollen tongue, Ooh. blood at the corner of the mouth. There are some peculiar red patches on the bodies. His eyes are bloodshot. This man choked to death. Okay. Strong smell of ammonia. The entrails must have been perforated. The appearance of these bodies and the smell emanating from their mouths leaves me in no doubt. They were poisoned. That this doctor could have believed that this was simply an illness is beyond me. I can't see anything else of interest. Okay. 
That would be interesting what would have happened if I did have Alfra with me. Okay. Keep doing what you're doing. So, what do you think? Do you recognize their disease? They didn't die of disease. They were poisoned. There's no doubt about it. You're probably right. But I've heard these savages talking so much about curses. So I thought it must be a mysterious disease, rather than seeing what was before my eyes. But how could these three men be poisoned? <sighs> okay, let's start with the... Does she recognize the poison? I'm not sure. Do their symptoms not point to anything? No. I've never seen such a deadly poison with these symptoms. Okay, who entered the barracks? Have you noticed anyone unusual here? Unusual? No. Hmm. I insist. You don't seem completely sure of yourself. Nobody could have just slipped in. No, I assure you. The last ones to pass by here were the hunters who delivered us game two days ago. Hunters? Natives who bring us game regularly in exchange for knickknacks. But they've been restocking us for months. I struggle to believe that they're involved. Well, we'll see what they have to say. Where can I find them? They usually hunt on the edge of the wood that leads to this camp. Uh, I would like to ask the... Thank you for your help. Good luck. Apparently I'm not al allowed to ask other questions at the moment. Okay, well, let's go see the hunters. But I would think that would be too easy. Well, to be honest, it could be that easy. Basically, uh, supply food for months, uh, gaining the trust, and then... No, I'm not hunting you. Unless they pay me to. Wait a minute. What? Well, I'm guessing the hunt. Now that I think about it, and yes, this is the. This is our prey, Renaixi. How can we earn our reward if you hunt our prey? Justify myself, okay. We only defended ourselves. These beasts attacked us. But take them. We do not intend to eat them. Thank you. But what are you doing here, Renaixi, if you're not here to hunt? We were looking for you. Us? What do you want from us? Three woodcutters were poisoned yesterday after eating what you brought them. Poison? I swear we are not responsible for this. Mm, I insist. Listen, all the clues lead to you, but it may simply have been an accident. How about you tell me exactly what happened? It wasn't really an accident, but we did not want to kill them either. Then tell me how it happened. We did not decide to do this. We were trading beautiful things with the camp. But the Elder said that we would be traitors to our clan if we let the woodcutters cut down all the trees. Which Elder? One of the old men from Vigigidor, our village. He is very angry because we cannot heal the glade. He gave us the meat of an andrig killed by a venomous docentat. Its flesh is perfectly edible when prepared with certain berries, but without them, eating it would be lethal. And since the Renaixe invaded our forest, these berries are nowhere to be found. He wanted it to be a lesson for them, so that they may understand that their destruction brings death. 
I will not hold you responsible, but from now on you will no longer bring meat to this camp. You are the instruments of a hateful old man's vengeance. And I'm under the impression that there will be even more deaths if I do not get to the root of this problem. The Vagigido elder thought it best to take vengeance into his own hands. I understand his anger, but Dunkers would not approve of this. He would say that bloodshed only leads to more bloodshed, and he wouldn't be wrong. This whole thing could turn into an open war. We cannot let that happen. Sir de Corsillon will be able to give some advice on how to solve this property conflict without violence. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's getting a little harder than we thought. Uh, basically, what I would like to do now... So we have to jump back to here. Uh, let's use the camp over there. Which camp... By the way, which camp is closer? Well, it's basically either way. Um... Well, they were poisoning their food, but uh, for different reasons. And Crazy Fox at it again. Oh. So. A little bit jumping. And here we go. No, no, no. I tried to run. <laughs> Either I go to the shop or start talking with people. Ah. Fortunately, the um, residences are quite close to the main buildings. There's always that. And ah, upstairs. Okay. Where are you? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I can get... Yeah, I can get... go up from here too, so I don't have to use the ladders. Uh... Uh, wait a minute, which room? That room. Now, speak to me. Sir de Corsillon. The sad day, my young student. What can I do for you? Hmm. I might ask this. I found no traces of Professor Serafedin yet. That's most regrettable. But keep looking for him, will you? You never know. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? Well, I talk about camps. The mission you entrusted me with has made great progress. Very well. Let's see. Good. You have traveled great distances. And the terra incognita will soon be but a distant memory. Keep doing what you're doing, Dosade. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? Yes, you can. What about the glade? I have come to find you because I received a complaint from the natives of the village of Vigigidor. They want to be able to access a clearing, exploited by our woodcutters, to heal it. To reforest it, I assume. But our men there say that it belongs to them, and are refusing to let the natives enter it. The site was supposedly ceded to them several months ago, but tensions are running high and some men have lost their lives. If we don't intervene, we're heading for a real confrontation. It is very regrettable, and I approve of your desire to appease this conflict. According to what you have told me, if ever there was a contract, it must have been signed under our former governor. You should go to the archives and verify this, then go and talk to Lady Lorraine de Morange. And of course, I'll be delighted to help you once things have been clarified. Thank you, Professor. Once more, you've been of great help. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? Mm, not anymore. Looking forward to seeing you again, Sir de Corsillon. Uh, let me guess, we have to run downstairs. Yes, yes we do. 
and run we shall. Oh. Um, I'm guessing... Wait a minute. Yeah, even more. So let's go see if we can find the... Wait, wait, what? I thought we would go... Diplomatic... Oh... So I'm here. Where could I get downstairs? I thought we would go to the diplomatic officer, but okay. I was mistaken then. And let's take those. Ooh, nice resusc resuscitation powder or oh, something like that. Okay. Are we on the right level? I th uh, floor. I think we are. So. right over here and there's the papers property deed of the lodging expedition following negotiations between chief Dungas and governor de Morans over lands in the Quenvar region it was hereby decided that the negotiated lands would henceforth be the sole and exclusive property of the merchant congregation for the purpose of carrying out logging activity access to this area is now restricted to members of the congregation well that is interesting Deed, indeed. And uh, even more so, why would Lady Morange do a deal like that? Because she seems to be quite reasonable with the natives and interested about them. So it would be weird that she would do such a um, deed. <laughs> Anyways, we will find out too. Good day, dear sir. Happy to see you again in such fine health. How can I be of service? Contract. I need you to enlighten me about the property deed of a glade near Vigigador. The natives want to access this place, which, according to them, is sacred, and which they would like to heal. But some of our men there are using this deed to deny them access to the area. Tensions are running high, and some people have died. Yes, there was a time when we enacted a lot of contracts. Do you have the document with you? Yes, here it is. Hmm. This session agreement is only signed with a cross on the native side. Well, writing is foreign to them. As is the notion of land ownership. For them, the earth only belongs to itself. If they did not possess these lands, how did they cede them? Well, I doubt they knew what this agreement represented, to be honest. In that case, why make them sign it? When we arrived on the island, we had to ensure our access to certain commodities. We also had to make sure that we had legal ownership of the lands we were occupying. The natives dreamed of possessing some baubles that they didn't know how to craft. It was easy to make them sign agreements that they didn't understand by giving them some. I was a stranger to their philosophy then. I only thought about my city, and I regret it. I'm sure we can fix this mistake. I hope so, Your Excellency. Come, let's find Sir de Corsilion. Can I help you with any other matter? Okay, so we need to... Uh, my we... lady, I have to go. Goodbye. Sir de Corsilion, mm. it's always a pleasure. Madame. I expect you've come to see me about this regrettable problem concerning a clearing, which my student told me about. Indeed. And I think I may have a solution that will allow us to solve this conflict peacefully. Hmm, I'm listening. I must admit that I established this at a time when the culture and the mentality of the natives was foreign to me. The clan of this village was rather open to our presence. They welcomed us with benevolence. For this reason, I think we should allow them access to these lands. In doing so, we would appease the tensions, and we would also retain ownership of the wood. We would even benefit from such an agreement if the natives reforest this area. 
Then we could exploit it for a longer period of time. I find this decision perfectly viable, and I approve. But several men were killed, and their comrades will seek vengeance if the person or persons responsible do not pay for their crimes. I am convinced that Dunkus, the chief of this clan, never approves such an action. I understand. But I will only write a decree allowing people to go to this clearing, provided the murderer is delivered to us. Thank you, Master. I will inform Dunkus of your decision. Okay. Um, it's fortunate that at least some point the game jumps you to the place where you need to be, so you don't have to run all the time. That is also nice. But now we have to jump to see the Dungas. <clears throat> A little bit back and forth. Unfortunately, <clears throat> we can jump. So, not a big deal. I might as well save now that we are doing this. Uh, yeah, now we go to the Dungas Abug. Hopefully we can get this matter handled diplomatically. I think we should, but who knows? Bertir Tumad. I am Dunkas, the Mal and the Doné God of the Yigido. You're very strange for Renaise. Who are you? My name is Desarde. I am the legate of the merchant congregation. You are a Lugayer Blau? Oh, I didn't know there were on Almanawi amongst them. They may not be so different from us after all. What brings you here on Almanawi? Mm. Well, the clade. At this old man's request, I investigated the conflict that opposes you and my nation regarding the clearing. You will now be able to access it freely, to accomplish your rituals or heal the area. And the congregation will keep exploiting the forest. However, there is one condition to this new agreement. You must deliver this man to us because he is responsible for the deaths of several woodcutters. These men died because of their own foolishness. No one else is responsible for their deaths. If they hadn't cut all the ochre berry trees, they would have survived. What does that mean? What are the two of you talking about? Three woodcutters died after eating the meat of an andrig after it was killed by a venomous Dawson tats. It's nothing but a terrible coincidence. And if they had eaten the ochre berries... We know that you are responsible for this. The hunters told me everything. How could you do this? You acted more foolishly than an irascible adolescent. Boy, killing these men, you have brought upon us their wrath. And it is only natural that they should ask for justice. Dunkus, I beg you. I only wanted the Renoixe to understand the value of the trees they were cutting. Bloodshed only leads to more bloodshed. And you know that. I would never have thought you capable of doing something so foolish. If you want to stop the woodcutters taking vengeance into their own hands, you must deliver this man to us. I understand. But I have one condition before we make this agreement. If the Lugayer Blau fooled us in the past, it is their turn to prove their good faith. What do you want from us? There is a mine in the forest that the congregation has long operated with help from my people. But digging into the mountain has risked it collapsing. We reinforced the earth with wood. We worked with the Lugayed Blau to save the mountain and the men. We agreed to stop digging and sealed the entrance with a boulder. But some Renaigse came back, and I think they started digging again. 
And some of my people started going missing. Perhaps because they had seen them break their promise. If the mountain collapses and it is your clan's fault, thousands of lives will be lost. And you want me to intervene? You have to stop them. Remind them of their promise. This is the price of my trust. If you do, we punish the person responsible for the death of the woodcutters, and all our quarrels will be gone. I'll go to this mine and see what's going on. Is there anything else? Uh, no. I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkus. Kwa Awalam say. Well, this is getting a little bit complica more complicated than I thought, so we will continue doing it, obviously. Oh, I need to go outside. Can I actually get a um, world map from here? I don't see it anywhere, but it could. It might be possible, but anyways, where do we need to go now? Oh, okay, it's the same area. Okay, fine. Obviously, we go there and yeah. Oh, can I jump from here? Hopefully, I can jump from here right now. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Logging expedition camp is the closest, so we go there. Well, I'm not certain if, if, if it's the closest, but uh, uh, it gives the marker over there, so we use that. Yeah, I was saying when I was killing the two bigger creatures. Um, yeah, I realized with the rolling creature, I might have, if I would be a intelligent person, I would have used them. Um, use the stasis bottle but yeah so what so that probably would have helped and yeah hopefully I remember that next time anyways that's nothing neither here nor there I just uh, forget to talk about it because we were jumping every way possible I'll take a quick look around oh got stuck well this is very woody area if I may say so I don't know why I'm going around here but I Oh, that should be iron. Well, no. It seemed like it, but apparently no. Um, is there anything? Mm, again, no. have here except of course crafting material might as well pick them up um, do we have anything here no Abandoned mine. It's coming right up there. Uh, but I have a. Um, I 
Oh, camp. Don't mind if I do. So three or four. Then one camp definitely has to be this. But for now... I don't know. We probably can't go there just yet. I might as well say... You there, soldier. Time to leave. Sorry, this is private property. I cannot allow you to enter. Actually, no one should be able to enter. This mine is doomed. It's terribly dangerous. I wouldn't know. Our employer, Mr. Mayard, is the owner. He's got all the deeds required. Listen, you should go to the authorities. They can confirm all the paperwork. I definitely will. Ugh. Oh no, <laughs> where now? Where do we need to go now? Uh, the what now? Sorry, this is private property. Well, I guess we go back to the... These people are reckless imbeciles if they start mining again in such a dangerous place. These Renegs, they must not have taken us seriously. We should take a closer look. Spite activity on the mine. Oh! Ooh, ooh. I should all already remember that um, uh, if something doesn't... Activate instantly, you need to leave. Reminds me... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I have to check one thing. Be right back. Okay, let's continue. Ah, yeah. Uh, reminds me one thing. It, it was a game I played, uh, which you can find in my playlists and channel. Uh, Darkness Within One. Um... We should take the path that overlooks the outer wall. We should be able to see inside from there. Basically, I was uh, r running around one apartment and um, wondering what has happened because I I didn't know what to do next because uh, the quest didn't update, nothing we were updating. Um, and I thought I n needed to do something. But the only thing I needed to do is was actually leave the place. Those reckless fools. They've resumed operations in the mine. Okay. It never even occurred to my mind to just try to leave and activate the next setting, but... They use captives from the villages to dig their mine. They've made them into slaves. We must talk to Sir de Corsillon. I hope that our nation is not involved in this business. Well, this took a darker turn. So, even our people are not goody two shoes. Well, it fits the uh, atmosphere of the game that we have good people, we have bad people. In every group. But some are more horrible than others. Anyways. Let's go back to Corsillon. And that means we need to jump... I'm guessing we are not going to start the Afra's personal quest today, as uh, this is taking more time than I thought. But it's nice to play these quests for a while, because we did quite a lot of exper uh, um, expedition work and um, mapping areas, we, which will obviously resume, and we did even today somewhat, a little bit. Fortunately, the area is a little small, and we managed to actually do some quests or, uh, also. 
Um, these side quests are surprisingly long. Uh, that's not a, a complaint, obviously. The missions are missions. They are short and sweet, and uh, basically you just do it or don't do it. There's no story. But yep, yeah, they are there. You get a little XP and um, a little bit money. But do it or do, don't. It those you don't miss anything important if you don't do those. At least for now, I might be wrong. Cilion. The sad day, my young student. What can I do for you? Ah, uh, mine. I've come to ask you about a mine near Vigigador. It was closed for a long time for security reasons. But someone has started exploiting it again. Hmm. I seem to recall that a concession in this area was sold to a master Mayard. However, I do not recall the details of the contract. It was established by the previous government. He is a rich merchant from Serene, who arrived on the island only a short while before we did. People say that he is unscrupulous. <laughs> unscrupulous? That's an understatement. This man had some natives captured and he's using them as slaves to work in this mine. What? Does this old brigand really think that he is above the law? We cannot tolerate such methods, but we must determine the best way to attack him. You should start by finding the deed to his property in the archives. Don't worry. We'll not let this man's behavior go unpunished. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? Looking forward to seeing you again. Okay. So, back to... Back to the deeds. And am I correct? We are going down to the basement again. I'll have to check when we are on the... Yeah, it seems like we have to go to the basement again. Again, I... Uh, it was not diplomatic efforts. Uh, minor... Ah. Not complain, but... Uh, um, very minor negative thing. Uh, maybe the archive could have been on the second floor or somewhere else. Um, but again, it's not that big of a deal anyways. And uh, where do we go now? Okay, there's the quest, but I want to take this box. Ah. Nope. So, what does the deed say? Property, <clears throat> property deed of an old mining plot belonging to a master mailord. This document is written in legal jargon. It is property deed belonging to master mailord. It's con it concerns some land situated in the Quenvar region, including an old mine. The document was signed by Madame de Morange. You will need her to help to understand all its legal subtleties. Subtleties. It seems as though you can't decipher the glyphs of your own people's document. I get lost in all the legal jargon, but they have Lady Morange's seal on them. We should find her to understand exactly what they say. Unfortunately, again, yeah, the not minor complaint. We now have to do exactly the same thing we did with the woods. Uh, fortunately, not a big thing, but yeah. Uh, this wouldn't be. This wouldn't feel so. Um, annoying is too strong a word. Uh, but, anyways, you know what I mean. Uh, if it hadn't happened in the same quest line in similar fashion. Uh, but, anyways, again, minor thing. Very minor. Doesn't detract for the gameplay at the moment. Yes. Good day, dear sir. Happy to see you again in such fine health. How can I be of service? You have been making quite a many interesting deeds. Are you as 
nice as you appear to be, or is that facade? I need your advice once more. This time it's about the property deeds of a plot of land and of a mine acquired by a certain Mayard. Here are the deeds. I must admit that I understand very little of what's written, but your seal is on it. Hmm, do not worry. This type of document is always difficult to decipher for the uninitiated. However, they are very clear. Master Mayard is the owner of a plot of land located near Vigigador. He can exploit the forest and plant anything he wants there, but it says here that he does not have the right to exploit the mine. It's even repeated in this other paragraph. Any attempt at mining on this land is forbidden. And yet the mine which was located on this plot of land has been reopened and is being exploited as we speak. According to these documents, the mine has been closed for security reasons. This man's behavior is reckless. You should go see him. He's presently in New Serene. He usually spends time at the port when he comes. He has some warehouses there. Well, okay. Um, apparently, she was up and up with their deed. So, my lord is uh, just doing it. Without permission and hoping that no one will find out. So let let that. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Haven't been a while. No, I won't. Oh, there, I'll might grab this also, and uh, I'll probably make a save here also. There you are. I think we need to un arrest arrest your ass. <laughs> Master Mayard, who's asking? De Sade. I am the legate of the congregation. Well, I'm flattered. What brings you here, Your Excellency? I'm here to talk to you about the mine you have near Vigigador. Are you aware that you have no right to operate it? Nor are you allowed to employ slaves there. But what are you talking about? Surely this is a misunderstanding. Listen, I'm sure there is a way for us to get along. I'm an honest merchant. I've always paid all taxes and the small bonuses needed. Please tell your cousin that I would be happy to send him the gift of his choice. Now, Your Excellency, if you will allow me, I have to get back to my activities. I'm afraid you don't understand, Master. It's not a money problem. That mine is dangerous. And you endanger the congregation on this island by behaving this way with the natives. Come on, don't be so serious, young man. I'm sure it's nothing that a small bonus can't fix. Goodbye, sir. Best wishes to your cousin. Reach a new agreement with... Seriously? I thought we were going to actually... Arrest him? But fine, let's go to Corsalon. Well, uh, I might as well take this. And yeah. The best forge in tier okay, I'm gonna pause it while I run back to the Corsalon. And here, hopefully, we can handle this first now. Okay. Sir de Corsillon. The Sade, my young student. Yep. Uh, tell me about the Master Mala title. Yep. I verified the contract with Lady Morange. The exploitation of the mine is illegal, as we expected, without even taking into account what he's doing to the natives. I then went to meet Master Mayard. So, what did he have to say in his defense? He turned a deaf ear and tried to bribe me. Oh, some of these merchants are so rich that they forget basic decency. But it's high time we reminded him of who is in charge of the congregation on this island. Here, this is an eviction notice which dispossesses him of all his land for breaching his contract. For his crimes against the natives, he's banished from this island. I will make him aware of this decision, but you should go to the mine immediately. The prisoners must be freed as soon as possible. And the mine closed once more. I'll take care of it. 
Can your old professor still prove himself useful? Okay. Nothing, nothing. Looking forward to seeing you again. Where can I jump fastest? Okay, I'm gonna run back to the house and jump near to the mine and I will see you there. And finally here. Uh, yeah, I probably... Yeah, my thinking is obviously I will finish this quest. But that may be the last thing I do on this episode as I was... I was thinking about starting the Afra quest, but uh, the times when we had done personal quests, they are quite long actually. So, yeah, there's no point to start it. At least not yet. But let's see how this goes. Sorry, this is private property. I cannot allow you to enter. I don't need your authorization. I have here an eviction notice signed by the governor's ministers. The former owner, Mr. Mayard, has lost his rights due to a breach of contract. Look, ultimately, we are not the ones who decide. We only obey the boss's orders. In that case, where can I find him to notify him of his loss? You'll find him around here somewhere, Your Excellency. Excellent. To be honest, we probably have legal document to say that we're in, you're out. And uh, that's it. So, yeah. But we must do it with the hard way, I guess. Are you looking for trouble? You'd better be on it. Master Mayard, I'm so glad to find you here. Okay. Here is a document from Sir de Corsillon on behalf of my cousin. Considering the fact that you have not respected the terms of your contract of ownership, you are hereby expelled. The methods you used against the islanders has also ensured your banishment from Tear D. Impossible. By what right? Guards, this man threatens me. That was the bomb. Apparently... Oh. These people were monsters. I wouldn't cry over them. Come now, let's go free my brothers, and we can tell Dunkers everything. Yes, 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 yes. Don't worry, don't worry, we will do. Yeah, that was the bomb. Apparently, Afra also used the bomb. Uh, do you have anything loot? Mm, nothing too interesting. And... You knew. Yeah, after I upgraded my bombing bombing skills, I will upgrade the Fury because apparently it's using the Fury. So getting faster Fury and more and whatnot, it's it's a good plan. What do we have here? So we can't. It seems like we can't go to the mines. No, but we can see a card over there. We can free those, but can I open the, this door now? Come on. Come on. Okay, finally. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is weird. Let's see how he reacts when I open this. Okay, this is a little bit worse. Lockpick level 2. Uh, no, I don't have enough points. Nope. Can't do that, unfortunately. Let's open this. Go without fear. You are free. And know that we are sorry for what happened to you. We must believe that not all Lugir blow or Aloik. He is an on al Manawi. That's why he understands us. Thank you. We will not forget you. Okay. 
again, they are thinking I'm native, so yeah, definitely we will find out that uh, there has to be connection of my family towards the island. Uh, I'll take a quick look, see, can I still enter? Yes, and well, apparently everybody's gone, either, although I couldn't open the door all the way, fine, and um, yeah, there's no keys to the chest, so unfortunately we can't open it. And now we report back to Dunkas, and hopefully we can solve this matter once and for all. Where's the camp? It's over here. Oh, I'm starting to be a little tired. Uh, Nothing new in that situation. I definitely would like to continue to play this, but oh, can't. I really can't. So I will finish these things and um, I do enjoy this game. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing quite a lot for now, and um, I would like to continue play even more, but unfortunately, I have to go to bed. What brings you here on Omanawi? Uh, my... I was able to close the mine. The man who operated it was arrested and he will be banished. Yes, those you freed told me. From now on, you are my Karantz, my friend. You knew how to renew my trust in your clan. Just as trees grow back after being cut. Thank you, Dunkus. I'm honored. Will you give us the old man now? If you allow it, I would like to punish him myself. Enough blood has been spilled, and he will only call for more of it, since he loved the forest to the point of killing for it. He will be sentenced to heal it. Every day he will replant what your men will cut down. Every day until the end of his life. Does this punishment seem acceptable to you? If I explain to Sir de Corsillon that the man was sentenced to forced labor, I suppose he will approve. Thank you, Dunkers. It's a wise sentence. Is there anything else? Um, I think we're done. I must here. leave. Goodbye, Dunkers. Kwa Awalam Seg. So, did we actually complete that totally? Uh, what do we have here? Let's go. Interesting. Kurt's mission was only. Only two points. But again, it was quite long. Um. Oh, of course, because it shows also the quest I haven't... I have. Yes. Okay. Yeah, just... Yeah, the other locking expedition, that's done. And the blood price is done. So, so, so... Uh, what did... We find, uh, I guess, nothing too interesting. Actually, no. Or damage gauntlets. Uh, well, funny thing is, they're a little bit better what uh, Afra is wearing, but yeah. 
new and um, what do we have here some chunk uh, no idea what was there okay I have ammo enough also yeah I have to remember to use the against those annoying creatures I have to remember to use the stasis that would make life much easier uh, deed and diary and whatnot. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, on Tia Freddy. Ah, oh, tall trees. Uh, Quenvar is first at end, rather isolated valley whose tall trees are particularly popular with carpenters from the mainland and are source for of its native name. Okay, an abandoned mine. And uh, native of the Fradi, Shura Sel Dungas. Dungas is the leader and donegard of the Berag Nodas clan and the sap bearers of the village of Vigigidav. Viki, Viki, Viki yes, Vigigidav. <laughs> A great healer of the earth and protector of the nature of his island. His wisdom is renowned and always seeks to. Per Preserve balance and harmony in all things. Uh, yeah, a little bit more level headed than Ulan. Uh, Petrus, nice. Sierra, nice. Kurt, friendly. Vasco, friendly. Afra, suspicious. Congregation, merchant, nice. Bridge Alliance, suspicious. Teleme, suspicious. Coin card, nice. Notes, suspicious and natives friendly we are doing quite doing quite good so most likely most likely next episode we will start uh, Afra's uh, quest I'm let's go outside uh, I'm almost certain it will be Afra's quest uh, because why not and um, let's see the map. Uh, there are areas where we couldn't go here, but they were blocked. I should go probably check sometimes if we can go. Uh, I'm not going to go door grid for a while. I'm guessing we will get a quest there. I, at least I hope. But yes, what do we have here? Talk to Admiral Capral about the ruins. Not yet. Yeah, I think we next episode we will do the Afras quest as far as we can, depending how long it is. Uh, it might be one episode doing Afra, um, or if not, then I'll think we go tier dop and uh, to start to uncover what's happening there. We have the uh, main quest and we have the sec uh, uh, side quest but yeah that's the plan and uh, we will see how that pans out anyways i hope you enjoyed this episode and i will see you next time until then goodbye